Hi friends, now I am here to tell you something about another program. In this program, we were working on the loops. What is actually loop? This is called iteration count, right? What is loop? Loop is the meaning like if you want to work again, again and again. If you want to repetition, if you want in a program, if you want a program repeated again and again and again. So we are used. So that's why we use loops loop if you call uh, it a clock if you are seeing the clock clock is in infinitely running this is called infinite loop this is actually infinite loop so that is uh, that would be a great thing so we are working on that first of all you need to do that you have to declare first variable i am talking about the for loop here is there is a lot of type like three types of loops while loop for loop and do while loop so I am working on the for loop, right? So we need to do that. We have to for loop for actually for and the for uh, we have first of all we initialize the variable like initialize and apply condition over there then increment or decrement operator means iteration right or decrement so i will make the program for uh, which print the names in a 10 times 10 times your name will print it my channel name will print it right so we need to do that first of all initialize the variable i is equal to one then i is greater than and equal to 10 then i is plus plus it means that this is the loop which start from uh, uh, 1 and it will run 10 times either this condition will false if the 1 there is a 1 if 1 is less than and equal to 10 otherwise your loop will run it if the condition is proper to the equal of the stand then your program will terminate it all right so that's why we are using blue it will run so i will print f and in this print f i will share you something miss miss developers youtube channel so now you have run this program now you can see this misdeveloper misdeveloper this is actually a problem you are not thinking about it what happened so we need to do that first of all we are using namespaces and then compile So as you're seeing this, this is called 10 times repeating the loop. I hope you understand this program. We will proceed further and we will working on the nested loop and another loop, right? Thank you so much for watching this.